welcome Scorpio we're doing an energy reading for you today now it is a general reading so trust yourself what resonates leave what does not whenever you're watching this is the most perfect time for you big welcome to those that are new to my channel those that follow me regularly love your support if you do enjoy my readings make sure to subscribe to my channel show the love hit that like button and the notification bell to so get notified when your next star sign readings up on my channel now you still have time to go into the draw to win a personal reading with me it's a one hour pre-recorded personal reading so I can meditate on your energies, check your Akashic record, your past life information, answer your most burning questions with the tarot and the oracle. Super easy to enter. All you got to do is pop a comment below this video. Let me know you want to go into the draw, be subscribed, and I'll be drawing a random winner at the end of the month and announcing it on my channel. And my personal readings are open. They are deeply transformational. They're a mix of psychic insights spiritual guidance as well as transformational coaching they do go for a full hour so if you do need extra support and guidance at this time do reach out booking link is on here and down below let's dive in so pulling you an opening energy from the beautiful journey of love oracle let's see what you need to know scorpio oh you've pulled the ancient ones there's a lot of uh spiritual beings there She's kind of standing in the light with the light on her and the uh, spirit guides are sort of standing in the shadows. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says Scorpio, your spiritual growth is acknowledged and witnessed by the heavenly ones that see beyond time and space into the reality of your soul. Do not lose heart if your spirituality is not fully acknowledged, understood or appreciated by those around you in the physical world as yet. Though they may love you, it is most likely that their vision is still bound by time and space and they cannot see the very real gains you have made in the subtle worlds where all true spiritual growth begins. So the ancient ones reach out to you and bring you this message. We see you, beloved. We honour your growth. It is real, it is palpable, and soon it will manifest fully in the physical world with breathtaking beauty. We honor your light. Namaste. This oracle brings guidance that you have taken a leap in personal growth, and if you're still testing it in the physical world, trying to translate your inner changes into outer experiences, take heed. It's only a matter of time before you see it reflected back to you in your physical world. And what you have become within and you will see it mirrored back to you in the eyes of those around you in sacred relationship to you that's kind of beautiful and you know often you may be the only one in your family that has that beautiful angelic presence so you may have always felt different from your birth family um, and you know not everybody's meant to understand your spiritual beliefs your spiritual growth the journey that you're on because we're all on the unique paths right some of you come from the stars now if you come from the stars you are going to feel quite different grounded here on earth mm -hmm. there's a poem here it says he's wishing you some sunshine the day after the rain here's a hug of understanding when life seems filled with pain he's knowing that emotion like wind blows many ways and our course will seem more certain with the dawn of each new day just so true yeah mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at four key areas of focus for you with the Sacred Destiny Oracle. And we're going to pull you lots of clarifiers. Oh, you pull wish fulfillment or the right peach here. So everything coming towards you together for you. Oh, you've got abundance coming in. Hello. It's part of your fulfillment. Mm, there's also a need for you to take some quiet time out in solitude, or you have been doing that. What else does Scorpio need to know? Oh, it's really thinking about it. Clear guidance. Thank you. Oh, everything's asking you to be in flow. So flow with your energy, flow with your creative ideas, your passions, what's most important to you, your physical body. 
Add that up with some crystals. All right, let's have a look at your spiritual guidance. Oh, you pulled the Jade Star, which is all about surrender. Now, whenever we pull this dark green, it's about the heart chakra. I am ready to let go with self-compassion. So releasing old wounding, things that haven't worked out in the past, negative life experiences, negative people. Oh, you know, yeah, because you've got the Fallen Star, which is all about shame. I no longer hide my face. I step into the light with love, love in all parts of self. That quiet time has brought you into a place of this beautiful sense of strength and self-love. Mm. And you pulled the sacred orchard, which is on a golden egg in a hand, which is you co-creating with the universe. Mm -hmm. Your mindset will attract that abundance you're looking for. Oh, here we go. You pulled the little star, which is your inner child is whole and complete. So you have been doing a lot of work on self. Well done. All right, let's pull you some clarifiers from the Energy Oracle. First up, let's have a look at your wish fulfillment, releasing anything that doesn't serve you any longer, letting it go, which is most likely just an old way of being, yeah? Oh, some of you are still feeling tied up and stuck, and Spirit's saying you've got to release yourself from that energy. Are uh, you worried that your wish fulfillment's not going to come in? Hmm. Spirit's saying you've just got to be in balance between your feminine and your masculine energies. And there are things that you need to walk away from. So old ways of thinking and being, particularly around lack and scarcity consciousness. Have a look at you feeling all tied up and stuck. Yeah, it's directly sitting in your emotional waters. So worrying that you're not going to get what you want. So this is part of inner child healing because on some aspect of self, your needs were denied and consistently denied, mm -hmm. usually by a caregiver. Could even be in relationships, love relationships, and it's time to let that burden go, darlings. It's time to know that you deserve everything that you want, yeah. All right, let's have a look at your abundance coming in. Oh, part of your abundance is the daughter romance opening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, directly related to the root chakra. So love and money, stability. Yeah, you've also got to take action, though. Consistently take action. You do have to co-create. Let's have a look at you taking time in solitude. And you're going to step into the light with love. Oh, here's the anxiety, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, yep. Oh, the Spirit's saying there's so many doors you can open, so many things that you can do, try. Yeah, you Doing some journaling would help release that anxiety and worry. Having a solid plan, right? Let's have a look at this anxiety. Mm, it's about financial constraints, worrying about your money. So when we come from that place, we block our flow. Oh, my God. This is what is coming, and you're worrying it's not going to come in. It's here. So the energy is here for you to tap into. It's up to you to create your abundance flows. Show your intense attention to the universe through your actions, if I can say that, about what you want to create and where you want your money to flow into, right? You've got to be smart about that. but. It's also going to flow to you more easily when you're not constantly worrying it's not going to come to you because you're instantly block the openness to receive. Mm, yeah, darling. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If you want some help with that, I've done a little video on why is my abundance not here yet. It's seven minutes long. Go and check it out. Um, you can also, I've done an ebook and a masterclass on boosting your manifesting powers, which will help you move from this scarcity consciousness into an abundance mindset. Yeah. Uh, link will be on here and down below. All right, let's have a look at you co-creating with the universe. Because part of your inner child healing is getting over that deep-rooted scarcity consciousness and fear going on. You are seeing signs of abundance coming to you, right? You've got blossoming abundance there. Mm, and you got woman holding a coin, right? So, girls, there is going to be financial security and stability here. 
You've just got to be more practical and balanced about it and out of your emotional waters. All right, let's have a look at being in flow. Okay. Oh, it's a broken heart here. Some of you are worried that if you do something that you really love doing, that there's so much within you, whether somebody squashed your ideas or told you what you couldn't do or couldn't have or you had to do something practical when you were growing up, it's created this really hurtful fear-based thoughts in, within self in the heart chakra. So it's like you start and then you pull yourself back, right? Or I can't do that because I'm told I'm not good enough or I don't have enough value or, or whatever it is for you. Um, or you witness certain experiences where people have lost money following their dreams and passions. Somebody just consistently saying that to you. For some of you, it's a mother wound. It's a deep mother wound. Could be a father wound as well. Mm, yes, yeah, it's, it's lack. It's based in lack, darlings. And yet you're so strong. Mm -hmm. You've got the strength to overcome this. Oh, let's put some guidance on it. Mm. You're deceiving yourself if you think that you can't do this because Spirit's saying you can. Yeah, you've just got to heal that heart, right? You've got to come back to this place where this heart is clear and balanced. All right, a couple of things I'm going to suggest to you. In the guided meditation playlist, there is a meditation by Dakota Walker called Rise of the Phoenix. It is shamanic, lots of tribal drumming. That's going to help unearth this at a deep cellular level. You kind of got to think of it as like if you're sitting in the muddy waters, it's like the mud sitting at the bottom. And what wants to grow out of that mud, we're going to have to clear the mud so there's some clear water to grow it in, yeah? Uh, anything to do with sound therapy, going to sound therapy classes, meditation groups, whatever you can do that's going to impact you on a deep cellular level because that's where this is sitting. Mm -hmm. uh, try that one. Also, I've added some sound therapy meditations based on crystal singing bowls. There's one there that does all the chakras. Do that one. It's about an hour and 11 minutes long, I think. All you got to do is lay down and listen. That's how easy it is to work and just relax. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's have a look at envy here, which is a state of lack. Yeah, it's just creating indecision. So that scarcity consciousness creates massive indecision in your life. Confusion. Yeah, holding yourself back from life, which means you're not giving anything that you're trying to do 100% of your energy because it's so focused in lack. Spirit's saying you're the magician in the mirror. You can do anything you want, right? Let's have a look at your inner child here. Mm. You've got thinking man, thinking woman. So both genders, you just need to be more practical. Particularly when you, your daughter money is going to open, you need a solid plan. Yeah, because this is a storm warning here. So you've got to kind of look at what you're creating and going, if you're trying to follow something that's a passion, is there a demand for it? So you might need to do maybe some courses around business or entrepreneurship or putting products and services out there. Have you done your research? Is there a demand for what you're trying to create? Because you can create things that you're really passionate about doing, but do other people find, are other people um, prepared to pay for it? You've got to ask yourself that question. And if it's, an, it's, if it's a nice to have, then they're only going to pay for it when they've got extra money right, versus it being a necessity. You want to find something they have a burning desire to have, mm -hmm. burning desire, or it fits a need, you know, a, a need that's um, going to help them in some way significantly. Uh, you kind of got to look at it like that and then put a plan around it because you could still find something you're passionate about, but you've got to do it in a way that is going to make a money flow for you because otherwise you're putting your time and energy into something, hours and hours of energy into something that no one's going to buy, right, because you haven't done your research. We haven't been practical around it. Um, you know, I, I used to, I've done a lot in corporate world, a lot of on, in entrepreneurship if I can share anything with you, and I used to do a lot of mentoring of entrepreneurs. 
particularly in marketing and stuff like that. And I had one guy that every time he came, he'd come up with a new idea and it had taken him ages to do it. And, you know, he had he, at one point he created this massive book that was about this thick. And I said to him, uh, and the topic that he'd chosen would have a very limited market, but he'd spent hours on it because it was his passion, right? He never stopped to think and he spent quite a f bit of money into it as well, getting it printed and everything else. He'd never done his research on whether anybody was going to buy it. And he'd come to me for advice and I said, well, for a start, the book's way too big, right? And you're not even going to be able to post that without it costing $140 to post because of the weight of it, right? Uh, it was impractical to even post. So if you had a book that, you know, maybe a book of that kind, which was like a scientific thing, maybe even if you sold it for $60, nobody's going to pay $120 to get it delivered to them, right? So he's just shot himself in the foot. Uh, and he hadn't found whether or not there was a demand for it, but he kept doing these ideas over and over again and never figuring out what people wanted. Um, it's just channeling through, darling, because you need a really practical plan. You can absolutely do something you're passionate about, but make sure it's a market for it. If not, then you've got to create it in such a way that it's something that people want, still using your gifts and abilities and your talents. Does that make sense? Such an important message for some of you. Let's have a look at this storm warning. Hmm. You've got the temple path here. Some of you may want to follow a path of love and light. You've also got your angels and your spirit guides watching over you. And spirit's saying you've just got to love and appreciate self, live in the present moment, take each step each day that you feel guided to take. So try not to project yourself too much into the future about worrying about things that are going to happen or not happen in the future because really do they happen, right? All right, let's put you some guidance from the goddess guidance deck. Having a look at this top row about your wish fulfillment and you are and it's not going to come in. Spirit's saying you're going to release that and walk away from that state of being. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Within you, you have the high priestess energy, guy or girl, high priest, high priestess energy. It's come out with a lot of ancient wisdom. Mm -hmm. So deeply connected to spirit. Mm. Spirit's saying whenever you get into these states of funk, darlings, go outside, right? Get out in nature. All right, let's have a look at your abundance flows here where your daughter romance is going to open. There is a focus on the root chakra here and Spirit's saying you need to co-create that abundance with the universe. No, Spirit's saying don't give up, don't back down, keep moving yourself forward. If anybody's naysaying you, well, then stand up for yourself and you don't need to force or push or rush things, right? Everything's happening in divine timing. Yeah, you've just got to tap into your cycles of rhythm and, and when you need to rest, okay? Don't overdo it. Let's have a look at you taking quiet time in solitude and rising out of the ashes. Worrying that your money's not going to come in and Spirit's saying it is. There's lots of doors that you can open. Yeah, you've got Lakshmi, bright future. Stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. Mm. you got plenty and compassion. You need to be kinder to yourself, darling, right? Much kinder to yourself. And again, you've pulled strength. You've got so much strength within you. Let's have a look at this side where it's really about you trying to get into your flow and making money out of your flow. Really, that's what's coming through. And Spirit's saying you've just got to be really practical how you approach it. Approach it. OMG, are you ready, Scorpio? You've got Mother Mary expected a miracle. Just know your prayers have been heard that are being answered. You're going to have a breakthrough. You're going to have a major breakthrough in this. Mm hmm. Yep. You're again divinely watched over and protected by spirit. You're just going to take a leap of faith. Mm hmm. Wow. All right, let's put some guidance from the Crystal Healing deck. Oh, Spirit's saying music would be very good for you and soothing. That's what I recommended to you with those meditations. Sound therapy. Okay, you've got Aquamarine communication here. 
You may get a communication in from someone who may say to you, oh, it should have happened by now. I don't know why you're wasting your time. This is a naysayer that you need to stand up to. Either ignore them, change the conversation, change the subject, right, because you don't need that negativity. Mm -mm. Yeah, right now you need to be flexible and patient with yourself. Timing of things. Mm. And you've got to look at things from a different perspective than the way you're looking at them right now. Any other guidance there? Okay, got animals here. I don't know if you, your pets need extra attention and support at this time. There may be a significant animal spirit guide that shows itself to you. Yeah, and there's also a need to, for you to focus on your health and well-being. You've got a healthy body here. So looking after yourself, getting enough rest, eating well. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. What is it Scorpio needs to know right now? Yeah, you've got to let the emotions flow. You've got to let this stress and anxiety out. Some of you feel like you're struggling, but it's really more about the wounding that's gone on that needs to be cleared. It wasn't yours to carry, but we can all go through things that are, you know, generational karmic imprints that we need to clear from self. You need to release the worry and anxiety going on. De-stress. Yeah, you've got to love that you're different. No matter what opposition comes up against you, you've got to appreciate all parts of self. Mm -hmm. You're very unique mm -hmm. and make the sacrifice. You do have to make the effort here. Mm -hmm. And seek your answers within. There's a bear holding the heart chakra, but in the heart chakra is the third eye chakra. So you really got to trust yourself. All right, let's have a look and see who you're connected to in the spirit realm, divine gifts and talents at this time. Or well, you're connected to the master healers. So when you do your spiritual practices, call them in and ask for healing. And, you know, you'll be able to feel within the physical body where you want them to send energy to. Ask them to send energy to those areas and to clear your energy. Mm. You have the gift of being a teacher. Right, so there may be something that you've learned in life that you can create a money flow out of, abundance flow out of your experiences. Mm. And you've got bees here. So this is your inspired ideas, trusting in your creative ideas. All right, let's have a look at your chakra balance. Oh, Spirit's saying you need to have some fun, darlings, and lighten up. <laughs> yes, take your mind off things. Maybe you're too focused on it right now. Yeah, spend some time with your friends and have some fun. And here's the heart chakra. There's some heart chakra clearing and healing that needs to happen, darlings. Yes. All right. Let's have a look at your life path guidance. Oh, you're a perfectionist, which means that you'll spend a lot of time creating something. You've got to watch that doesn't hold you from put, hold you back from putting it out there. It does mean you do high quality work. Oh, look, you've got performing arts, dance, music. Being in the spotlight. Yeah, some of you are considering making major life changes and going in a new direction. When it comes to your life path. All right, let's pull your message from your angels, what they want you to know right now. Well, you've got sacred space. It says, we, your guardian angels, surround you with emerald, gold, and rose pink light. Surrender your concerns and worries and enter this sacred space of love and healing. Oh, you so got to let that go, Scorpio. Just release it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> release it. All right, let's have a look at guidance going forward for you with the tarot. What do you need to know? Oh, you got the nine of cups. All your wishes coming true, right? The power to manifest anything you want right now. Mm. 
And you've got that Ace of Swords here, which Aces always represent new beginnings. There's a skull there representing death. You can't go backwards. There's an old version of you that you need to shed. And be prepared to stand up for yourself going forward. Mm. You pulled strength three times. You've been through so much. Again, there's a skull, right? You've experienced so much negativity in your life and hardship, some of you. You've created this enormous amount of strength within you. It's just like the whole center of your being, strength, strength, amazing strength. You know how to overcome anything. Right? Even if it still gets to you, you know how to overcome it and pick yourself up again. And continue one foot after the other. Oh, you've got the emperor here. So, very wise. It doesn't feel like your energy, Scorpio. This is someone coming into your life. Mm -hmm. This is an equal partner to you, but you've got to be in the right energy to stand side by side by them. Right now you've got some scarcity stuff going on, right? So you need to you need to heal that wound. Release that. Mm. God, you got you've pulled three skulls. You've got the page of wands. So you're in this position where you're trying to overcome these challenges and it might feel like you're not getting any footing with it. You kind of got to recognize possibly journaling would really help you to get to a deep level of what you need to release that you're still carrying with you as much as you're trying to release it, you're still carrying it. Because mm -hmm. there's skulls all around this. Yeah. Mm. And you got the Page of Swords. So you feel defensive, like your sword's raised, anyone coming towards you, ready to defend yourself. So how do we come out of that masculine energy of needing to protect self constantly? So you could be in flight and fright response constantly, some of you, or just ready for someone to have a go at you versus going with the flow and thinking that, you know, there's going to be great people that cross your path and you're going to have enjoyable experiences with connecting with others. Mm, there's definitely some healing that needs to happen here. you got the five of cups. Some of you are still focusing on things that haven't worked out. Negative experiences. And you've got the knight of cups. There's a love interest here that wants to come into your life. Yep. They have the potential to be the emperor, but they're not going to show themselves as an emperor. They're going to test the waters because they can feel that you've got your sword raised, that you're very protective of yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got the three of wands here. You've been through deception in the past. And you've got the king of cups. You have a lot to give. You have the King of Cups energy within you, whether you're a guy or a girl, right? It's sitting there within you like a well that wants to be expressed, but you've held it back and shoved it down for so long, darlings. You've got to find yourself again, enough to feel comfortable that you don't need to constantly protect yourself. There's certainly inner child healing that needs to happen here. Mm. You're the Eight of Pentacles. You do work really hard. Right, you do. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm going to read these around the other way. You got the Ten of Swords, just confirmation you've been through a lot, darlings. A lot. You got a tower moment coming. It's a necessary tower moment. It might feel like a dark night of the soul where you feel kind of like. Hopeless, nothing I ever do works out. As hard as I'm working and trying, it's not working out. And the spirit's saying there's a better way. <laughs> Darling, this is a better way of doing it. You've also got to let go of all this anxiety and worry within you and just release it because that's really holding you back. When you do that, 
you got the Ace of Pentacles, you're going to find your brand new fresh start. It's there. There's also in Waiting in the Wings, an Emperor. It's going to show up as a Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below and how this reading resonated for you. Do reach out if you need extra guidance and support with a personal reading. Booking links on here and down below. Don't forget to enter the competition before you go. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.